definitely see a lot of uh, themes that 4 had in uh, Resident Evil Village. And I think that's why a lot of Resident Evil 4 fans like myself really liked Village because it has that little bit of nostalgia. There's even uh, the Easter egg. I don't know if you noticed, but the Duke also says like, what are you buying? Yeah, like, yeah. He, he there, quotes him and there, that like my heart like saying when I heard that, I'm like, ah, like it just, it was such a cool Easter egg. What are you buying? <laughs> just something an old friend of mine used to say. And let's not forget Resident Evil 4 is going to be having a remake. And that game has a cult following a lot of people. I'm still kind of on the fence personally, but a lot of people are either yes or like no, because it's not really an old game. Like the game itself still holds up, in my opinion. Yeah, that's 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 a controversial topic, actually. Like, um, did Resident Evil 4 yes. need a remake? Because it, 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 it does hold up. Yeah, like there's a comment like Resident Evil 4 does not need a remake. It's perfect. Yeah, I I uh, I kind of agree with that. <laughs> it's like th this is this is the thing, though, I, I, I I think regarding the Resident Evil 4 remake, they scrapped the progress on that because it was too similar to the original. Like Resident Evil 4 is sort of many people's first experience. It's like what it, it's 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 one of the hallmarks of the series. I think it's about integrity as well. They're really really proud of Resident Evil 4 and I think if they if they are going to remake it, I think they realize that they can't just tread familiar ground. They kind of have to um think outside the box a little bit this time. Right, right. I think. But but at that point, you know, you're, you're, you're playing a dangerous game because it's like, um, why call it Resident Evil 4 then, <laughs> you know? So it's, it's going to be different, exactly. Yeah, I think it's always like making a remake. I, I, I don't envy the developers when they when you do that, because if you make it too similar to the original, people are like, what's the point? And then but if you make it too different, it's like, why did you call it this? So <laughs> and if you do, and if you don't, basically, especially with marketing, because you want to please everyone. You want to play. You want to please like the veterans of the yeah. series, but you also want to please the newcomers of the yeah. series as well, or those who are like a little bit more casual about it. It's a great game, like Resident Evil 4, and, and it's just really smartly designed. The game is constantly changing throughout its runtime. It's actually pretty long for a Resident Evil, but like it's split up into, I believe, 20 discrete chapters. I might be wrong on that number, but yes. like it's constantly evolving. The challenges that it throws at you is it's constantly shape shifting and it's never rested, you know? It's constantly surprising you and it's funny to boot. And the level design is excellent. The enemy design clicks. And a big part of that is that the movement is restricted and that's a big part of what makes um, the gameplay in that work. I kind of think of Resident Evil 4 as like, like you know when you go to an amusement park and you play on, on those shooting galleries when you like yes. shoot the duck or, or whatever it's mm -hmm. like it's like the like best water gun. Yeah, it's like the it's like the best shooting gallery ever made. Basically, that's Resident mm, Evil 4. Okay. It's like because all you're doing is you're just moving around and you're you're planting yourself on the floor and then oh okay, it's shooting gallery time. But it's like the best damn shooting gallery imaginable. <laughs> and there's a real theme park kind of atmosphere to it. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's got a really campy sort of sense of humor, which I think kind of helps everything gel together. Like, you know, it, it, despite mm -hmm. how wildly the tone varies throughout, it's kind of gel together by this layer of camp and it's it's just a really fun enjoyable experience no matter how many times you play it and the big question is are they going to keep the control scheme for the remake it's so integral to what resident evil 4 is is the fact that you can't move while you shoot you have to make a decision between movement and shooting and that is not compatible with modern game design sensibilities at all uh, I thought the controls at first were kind of clunky, but looking back, honestly, it kind of works. I got some, personally, I got some pretty nice headshots, like just from the controls and stuff itself. So the controls and stuff, like I can appreciate. Leon's a really interesting character. And the, the big part of his appeal is like, he's very, very competent. Like he, he actually gets shit done like very, very well, but he's also such a nerd. He's such a loser. Mm -hmm. And it's that dichotomy which makes him absolutely hilarious. He's so bad with women, right? And he makes the dumbest it's, jokes. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it with Hunnigan. The Hunnigan at the very end, where he's like, oh, let's go out to dinner. <laughs> I, I absolutely love the banter between him and Hunnigan and uh, him and Ashley. I absolutely love that. And actually what I haven't really had time to watch, uh, but I did see that in Resident Evil, uh, I think it's called Infinite. 
isn't it like uh like the oh, netflix yeah. show he actually yeah. does flirt with one of his team members like yeah. on uh like the first episode and it's just like it's so leon like leon <laughs> like i was worried about you in resident evil 4 and he's like don't you mean lonely <laughs> so i hope with resident evil 4 or even in future installments with leon i do hope that they keep that camp and they keep that humor i think the other thing i just wanted to say about leon is that aside from being just a fun cool character he's also in two of the best games in the series which probably adds. he really is though like the best games are the ones with leon and it's not just because it's leon it's because they are also the best games just in general yeah like i think most people would say <laughs> that either four or two are probably the best in the series or the best i would agree so too hey thank you for watching and a massive shout out to our patrons we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video a like and subscribe really help the channel out cheers all and have a good day.